They say dogs are man's best friend, but that phrase doesn't even come close to describing the relationship our next guest has with her pet husky, Sierra. Stephanie Herfel owes her life to her beloved canine who sniffed out cancer in her body not once, not twice, but three times. Sierra's life-saving actions have created a bond between them that is indescribable. Say hello to Stephanie and Sierra. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. How did Sierra come into your life? Um, I got Sierra when she was nine months old. My son is in the Air Force and he went overseas. Oh. Uh -huh. And he, so I got the phone call that said, mom. And I said, okay. And oh. I said, but uh, she has to, it has to be her permanent home. Right. Yeah. And you get visitation rights. And so, <laughs> it, <laughs> so that kind of worked out really nice for thank what you. she's done for thank me. Thank you and your family, yes. your son for the, your service. Oh, well, thank you. The whole family serves. Yes. 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 Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I was going to ask you what Sierra's personality like, but I'm guessing she's incredibly sweet from the little time that we've had to hang out with her. Yes, she is incredibly sweet. She's been here and she, she just has She's been, a love bug. She is a love bug. She's been enjoying all the attention, I think, so. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Take us through the process. Were, were you, did you know, you didn't know you had cancer, correct? I did not. So Sierra was just acting strange. She was sniffing. So what happened was um, in September of the year I was uh, diagnosed, I had gone to an emergency room because I had uh -huh. some pain in my belly. Mm -hmm. And uh, she. Uh... You just make yourself at home. It's so funny because we're having a very serious conversation <laughs> right now, but it's very hard to concentrate. This is what she does. She this is the cutest dog. dog. Yeah, she yes. thinks she's like the travel star. We think she pup. thinks she's a cat she sometimes. She's so sweet. <laughs> she's very easy to fall in love with. Yes. I did go to an emergency room and I was sent home um, with a diagnosis of an ovarian cyst mm -hmm. with some pain medication. And they said, you know, you'll, you will be okay. This will resolve itself. How exactly did she talk to you? She came up and she put her nose on my belly and she pushed into my belly and she smelled very intently. Why? Well, kind of blew that off a little bit because yeah. I thought maybe I had food on my shirt yeah. or she was just being sweet and cuddly and um, she uh, the next day she did this twice more and on the third time she went and hid and she went and really? hid in the farthest closet curled up like a little ball and put her nose under her tail and behind all the clothes and I had a hard time finding her and uh -huh. so I think it really scared her and so something in me it was this uh, kind of that cliche, follow your gut, right. um, made me decide that I needed to follow up the gynecologist. Absolutely. I so. mean, dogs are so intuitive. Absolutely. Animals in general are intuitive. Absolutely. And I think they see and recognize things that, you know, the naked eye, us as human beings, we don't see or recognize. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When you talk to oncologists or gynecologists and any doctor, do they say, oh yeah, we've, we've heard about this before. Dogs can actually sense these things. Yes, so when I um, had the first experience, it was kind of more, we were in a life-saving mode. Mm -hmm. So we, there wasn't a whole lot of discussion about it at first. And then when Sierra did detect my cancer a second time, then um, I was informed that there have been studies done. And it's not breed specific, but if they, if they do maintain a scent, then they're 98% accurate. Wow. I know. It's kind of mind-blowing. It is. Absolutely. What was your diagnosis? So I was diagnosed with stage 3C ovarian cancer. Stage 3C. 3C. A blink away from stage 4. Wow. Um, yeah. Absolutely. For, for those that may not know, our viewers, our audience that may not know what that is exactly, could you explain that? Um, absolutely. Well, um, my initial diagnosis, the cancer had already metastasized uh -huh. to my spleen. So I had my spleen removed. Wow. And also, um, so that's part of, I think, the staging process. And um, the only thing I think that did not keep me um, diagnosed at stage four was the fact that I had several lymph nodes removed, but none of them had cancer in them. Mm -hmm. And if they would have, I probably would have been diagnosed at stage four. Wow. How are you doing today? I had a scan a day and a half ago, and I'm cancer free right now. Nice. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Now, did Sierra sniff out a friend of yours, 
her cancer as well? Yes, so I have a friend that had um, also ovarian cancer. We became friends because of our disease. And she had come over for lunch and she was still currently in treatment. Uh -huh. And what happened was Sierra had gone over to where her tumor was and put her nose where the tumor was on her really? belly. Yeah, so it was really extraordinary to watch. And at that point, I really had uh, more conversations with my doctor and she's now documented in my medical record. And if she has any kind of behavioral things that right. are out of her uh, uh, normal activity, Behavior, then they yeah. will order a scan for me. That so, is wild. Yeah. That's, that that's, is unbelievable. Yeah, that's really incredible. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> when your friends come over and they're just hanging on the couch and Sarah starts smelling them, do they just automatically freak out? Well, there have been some <laughs> friends and family that say, I don't know if I want to come over because I don't right. want her hiding on me yeah. or anything like that. But she's so sweet and loving. She's darling. The thing is, wouldn't you want to be with her you know, if she's You'd want to know. Oh, yeah. You'd catch it earlier. You'd want to know. Absolutely. Like you said, she's saved well, early detection is the key. Right. right. Absolutely. Early and detection. And ovarian cancer does not have an early detection test. Mm -hmm. And right. so a lot of women are diagnosed in a late stage. And therefore, you know, I was very fortunate that um, I had her. And then yeah, the two yeah. times that she did smell the reoccurrences was so early that I was had several different options ahead of me that I could choose right. from. So. Right. Are you planning to write a book about? I am. This is going to inspire so many other people that might be going through the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. that's... I and Give them hope. Absolutely. Hope, I think, is key. And having hope in, in when you have a cancer diagnosis is 50% um, of the battle. And taking that and having a positive attitude and right. just kind of cancer is a part of you. Don't make cancer all of you. Don't make it define yeah. you. Doesn't right. define you. Right. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your story. And thank you, Sierra. Wait.